All right, so hey guys, what's up? How you good? How you guys doing? I am still alive. Sorry. Yeah, hey guys, what's what's going on? I haven't made a video in quite some time. I'm already sweating. But either way, that's not what you guys are, are concerned about. You aren't concerned about my climate control issues. You want to know where I've been? Where have I been? I have been. It's a lack, a lack of, of videos, a lack of things to come up with. Also just been busy with work. I guess it was really more, more of a lack of ideas than anything else. And I could feel myself coming. It was like, I used to just be able to come up with ideas with boom, 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 boom. And then I was like, oh crap, uh, I have two videos left and I don't have any ideas. So I could feel the, I could feel it coming and then it came. And then I just didn't have any ideas and I haven't made a video since whenever. I'm gonna put it on the screen it was the last time I uploaded a video. Yeah, my mom's channel's doing very well. If you guys wanna go check that out. Let's see if I can actually link it into the description this time. I've said it many times, I don't think I've ever linked it once. Yeah, we gotta get more organized with that, but that's what I've been doing is uh, growing her channel. But the point of this video is something that I'm trying to do with my product photography, maybe not product photography as much as the food photography. And that is, I'm trying to introduce some motion into my food photography. I've seen that that's something that you can add that that is used to add some flavor into it. Add some flavor, some variety, some not depth. I don't know what word I'm looking for. So yeah, that's what I've tried to do. Cause I feel like I've gotten, I was starting to get a little stagnant with my food photography. Now, adding motion is not as simple as it looks. It's kind of like a one shot thing. You got to plan just right and then do the thing that's doing the motion and then get it. So, because I don't know if I'll be able to find this, but my first, at my first, my first attempt at adding motion to video, to food photography did not go well. The, the motion was blurry and I think the, the, visc the viscosity of the liquid I was pouring was chunky, it wasn't smooth. So I was like, yeah, I have to go back to the drawing board with this one. I realized with that you need a fast shutter if you really want to get it quick. If you want to get that, if you want to get the sharpness of whatever that motion is that's coming into the frame. It helps if you have assistance. I tried to do it by myself and you can kind of do it by yourself. I guess if I had one of those remotes for my camera, I usually just set it to the, uh, like take a picture in two second mode. You know, you push the button, it beeps and then it takes the picture. So I usually set it to that. Uh, but it would be easier if you had someone there to squeeze whatever it is or drip whatever it is or pour whatever it is onto the food as you snap and take the pictures of the food item. So yeah, I guess that's been something I've been experimenting with. How, am I still sweating? So either way, I just thought I'd tell you guys that and tell you just a few tips on adding motion to your food photography is fast shutter, fast shutter, get some help if you can and plan before you actually shoot it. Like I would even say uh, use, use stand-ins I don't know, let's say you're pouring like maple syrup onto a onto a pancake, which actually you know they use motor oil. It sits better on, on top of the pancake. It doesn't soak in, but you can't eat the pancakes after you do that, so. So you're gonna pour the uh, maple syrup or, or the motor oil onto the pancake. Even use like, I don't know, like a straw to like where you think the, the liquid is gonna go. And uh, you know, set up your lights, your reflectors and all that stuff. Then when the time comes to pour, Bam, you're ready to go. So, because I realized that that was something that I lacked planned before I actually took the shot. I was just like, pour this. Oh crap, uh. And then in post, I was like, none of these are good. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you everybody that's been that's been subscribing, even though I haven't been uploading anything. Just, uh, just thank you for being there, being here with me. All right, all right, cool. Awesome. I haven't looked at my little phone once as a monitor. I don't even know if I was in focus. I don't know if the reflection was, I don't feel like I was ever like that. I feel like I was always like this. Uh, if the reflection of the light was in my glasses, I really hate it when that happened. Yeah. Oh crap. I could have been out of focus this whole time because I forgot to change it. Um, can I change the focus view? Okay. I'll have to look at this to see if I'm in focus because I don't know if I am. 
Okay. See you guys later. Toodles!